Okay, we're getting loose, y'all. It's Friday. I'm Jerika Duncan, and I am joined today with Randy Woods. And she's in Baltimore, Maryland. And as you know, on Friday, I'm trying to bring some uh, coping mechanisms and just talking about how people are getting through this difficult time. And Randy and I are going to talk about maintaining joy. I'm so excited. So, Randy, first and foremost, when did you realize that maintaining joy was going to be such an important part of this process? Mm. Maintaining joy probably was always there, but probably I realized that maintaining joy was going to be a part of the process the first week. Like the first week during COVID and having to take a team, to lead a team, and just my own feelings with it being thinking that I myself have been exposed to COVID early on mm-hmm. and getting tested and everything. And just on my way back, I realized like this can possibly be kind of like a brain fog. Why do you think joy is so important? This joy is the thing that you have control over because joy is an attitude, right? Joy is something it's deep seated within you. And that's something that you can have control over when you are getting all of this information coming in. It's what is going to be your anchor. Where do you, what is going to get you through this? Because life is always going to happen, right? But how do we move through it is a choice. What's your anchor? What's your anchor? My anchor is joy. My anchor is my anchor is my self awareness and and the joy that I get from that the the little small moments right like it doesn't have to be big I really got a I got a card from a friend a while ago and it said as long as you are able to see the beauty in the mundane you will forever stay young and I read that to say as long as you're able to see the beauty in the mundane you will always have joy you will always be anchored. To see a butterfly come past you is, I mean, if no other time, I think coping during COVID has shown me that we don't need a lot to be happy, but joy has to be developed. It's like a muscle. You develop that muscle over time and say, how do I develop joy on a day-to-day basis? And so during this time of COVID, it's been easy for me to go into that toolbox to be intentional to say, pull out joy, pull out joy, because that's what we need right now. Top three things that you have done to create spaces of joy for you at this time are? Dancing. Singing. And preparing my meals. So, what advice do you have to people right now who are struggling to find joy in that don't think too far in the future, but really if there's a a place that you can be, be in the now, be in the now. So are you starving now? Are you starving in this moment? And if you, if you can say no to those things, then know that that is where you can hold your joy. But I will always, I will also say all of those things are outside of us. And to find and maintain joy, sometimes we have to go inside. And maybe it's, when I say inside, maybe it's inside humming a, humming a song to yourself. Maybe it's inside telling yourself it's going to be okay. When you can't find anything outside of you to find joy, I'm going to say crawl deep inside because everything that you ever need is inside of you. You know what I've also found that's helpful? In the moments where I really want to scream, I just start laughing. It's just like, <laughs> that's a good one too. <laughs> well, I'm so glad we were able to have this conversation. And for those of you who don't know, because why would you, unless you know us, uh, Randy is the best friend of my cousin who passed away. So I am dedicating this second sort of. I don't even want to call it an episode, but discussion to Jay, because I know she's watching. I know she's smiling. um, And she was one of the most joyful people I know. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. I hope to see you back. Thanks for participating. And bringing those shoulders to that clavicle. Yes. That's bringing the shoulder game. 
So hopefully, if you're watching, you'll join us next Friday. In the meantime, keep calm and carry on.